trachmodonis L. or Gen. 7 seat tube failure. Due to the position of the slots in the seat tube, there is a limited adjustment range of the seat post. As such, you are able to flip the seat post wedge to either the top or the bottom position. Then if you put it in the top position, okay, the pressure will be around this area. So when it's around this area, it exert pressure this direction. Uh, this part pressed against the inside of your seat tube. The pressure is not as much as the sharp edge pressing against the back of your seat tube. When it's at the when it's at the bottom position, uh, you tighten. Uh, okay, it will push this part directly out. Uh. So when you push this part directly out, uh, okay, the pressure will be in this way. So it will be pressed backwards towards the back of your seat tube. Then you see uh, the inside edge is a bit sharp. So this uh, edge will press against the inside of your seat tube. When torqued to 5 nanometers, the pressure from the seat post pressing against the inside of the seat tube will cause the seat tube to swell and deform. Then when you pedal, because you might have left and right movement, up and down movement, you will keep rubbing against the inside of your seat tube. When the bolt is in the bottom position and torqued to 5 nanometers, the edge of the seat post will wear down the inside of the seat tube, causing permanent damage to the carbon structure. I have since reached out to Trek and will be awaiting their reply on this.